All right, so next we need to start focusing on the room that we start in in Five Nights at Freddy's. We can, so scrubbing through some of the footage right here, we've got these two doors, I have a little panel that says light and door. The door itself, let's see, do we have it opening and closing? Yes, we do, here we are. So there, closes, comes vertically down from the top. The door doesn't look recessed, looks like there's just a small gap that it travels down. Uh, and there are windows out to the other rooms and there's the desk full of stuff. Okay, so let's get started with this. Got Maya open, file, let's do project window, new, browse, and we'll do it in here. Select, and we'll call this uh, FNAF underscore Maya. Accept, we're good to go. So I need a box room, not terribly large, probably a few meters by a few meters with doors on either side. All right, let's go create a cube, frame up. There's Z that way, so I want to do it this way. Uh, size, a desk is probably at least two meters wide. That one's got a lot of stuff on it. So let's do maybe 2.5 meters wide. And let's just go with three meters wide. And the width, yeah, geez, that still seems really tight. It is just a desk. So what is, no, eight feet, two meters, 2.4 meters. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with just 2.5 meters, keep it simple. Now the depth is more important. So that table is maybe a meter wide, then another meter, then another meter, then another meter. And then you see behind you. So let's go with, I don't know, five meters in depth. And the height, can we even see the top of the ceiling? We can. Most ceilings are what, eight feet or so? So that's about 2.5 meters tall as well. Yeah, we'll go with that for now. We'll probably edit it later on. It's probably too long. Let's do 4.5 meters. Hold down D, V, X to the top. Let's invert our normal so we can see inside this thing. Uh, surface, go to mesh display, reverse. Let's go to shading, back face culling so we can see inside of our room. Save the scene real quick. Uh, let's call this Security room underscore zero one. Great. Two doors on either side. So let's split this thing up. I've also got a desk that goes in the center, right? And a window. So the desk, I want to give it a meter, at least that far. So let's right click, go to insert edge loop tool, bring up my tools. Uh, we'll do the desk to there, the window to there, and then the door somewhere around there, I suppose. And then your facing it something like this. So you're gonna to have to rotate to the left and to the right to see the doors, right? How wide is a door? Four feet? So 1.2, so it'll be somewhere around that, yeah. Desk, I'll put around there. Window, the window actually goes right up to the edge of it. So let's go back in here really quick, insert edge loop tool, put something, I don't know, about yay tall for the windows. Windows go very close to the top of the ceiling as well. So that'll be my window. So let's just, and is it symmetric with both sides? At least with the general structure? Yeah, so let's cut this thing in half real quick. Right, F8, right click, insert edge loop, multiple, set it to one, put one right down the center. Right click, faces, delete that half. Now we can work easily. Click this, right click, extrude face. Um, let me think here. There is a border, some sort of a border on this thing. So let's just do a scale in really quick. Uh, yeah, we'll do that G, bring it in. I think the window comes out though. So let's grab all of these elements really quick and do an extrude face and bring that out ever so slightly as well something like that so that's going to be my window into the other area which for right now is going to be blank um, next to that is this considerable gap before you get to the door itself so what I'm probably going to end up doing is moving this back a bit play on and let's go back to relative and then there is a gap grab this move it back door height goes to it looks like it's the same as the window it's hard to tell, I'm guessing it is. So let's right click, grab both of these, extrude them in, um, just push that in slightly. 
Uh, it looks, what is it? It's got, it's definitely got a frame. So I need a frame around that window. So maybe I should, yeah, there needs to be a frame. All right, so let's, let's create the frame. Come in here, I'm gonna once again go. All right, well, let's just sync the damn thing in first. The width of what I expect the door to be like. And uh, let's go ahead and nuke that really quick. No, we wanna keep that. Let's right click and go to, there is extract faces. We're gonna extract those, world coordinates. And I just wanna move it slightly out of the way because that is going to become what I use to uh, extrude up and down into this. I'm gonna just make a thick door really quick as well. Give it some thickness, something like that. And then in this door frame itself, um, I'm gonna want the grooves and I also want the frame itself, which kind of comes out into the sides, almost like it's a whole separate object that's just gonna be sitting into that frame. So let's uh, control D, this object, move it, right click, modify, center the pivot, bring it back in here. Actually grab all the faces on the sides, I guess. I don't need that center seam either. Let's go to edge mode, nuke that center seam, right click, face mode again, grab all of the, you know what, I don't like this method for face selection. Are you guys the same object? No, all right. Window. Preferences, uh, what is it? Selection, 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 selection. Let's go to select face center. That's what I want. There we go, much better. That's how I like to work with my faces. Old school Maya method. Grab these three. I should probably grab all four so I have it moving in the same direction. Let's go to extrude. I do want to bring these out. This will become my frame now. And I'll grab these guys. And the bottom is going to get tossed anyway, so let's just let's just go here, grab this, delete it, right-click, verts, grab these ones, grab these ones, move it up to that guy right there. Perfect. Now I've got something to work with. So let's grab these guys right there and there, right-click, vertex, and just pull these out a bit. And this is going to straddle around that door, I think. I really only need half of this object as well. Let's nuke this and this and this as well. Get rid of that. And uh, I won't be needing these faces, most likely. Let's delete them. F8, bring that in. D, V it, move it, V it. And uh, there we go. I now have a frame for my door that juts out. Maybe a little too far compared to the other one. So let's just grab our faces here and just push them back a little bit. The actual sliding area, the channel, the track in this. So let's go to insert edge loop, multiple, two, and put two in there. Um, it's gotta be the thickness of the door, right? But it's pretty, it's pretty thick. It's a thick door, so let's Grab the edges, use the scale tool. Do I have something else selected? Use the scale tool to push these out quite a bit. Go to face mode, grab these faces. I don't need the bottom. Right click, extrude, and let's push them back and in to make way for the actual door. Is that seeing it in all directions? It's really hard to tell at the top. Looks like it. Okay, well, the door itself is going to be, you're not going to see that up there. I am going to grab this and just push it up a little bit higher. I don't think it really went far enough for my taste. Okay, that's good. All right, so now we got our door. Um, let's uh, right click, I mean, mouse, modify, center the pivot, bring the door in. Uh, I want this door to be, let's see, DV, align that to there, put that in there, grab the back faces of the door, and let's align them with the width of the door itself. Um, let's go to shading. Uh, I want a wireframe on shaded. I want to grab this guy and make him that thick. And uh, I should also technically have the door, you know, situated within the channel. So let's just grab this and move that out. And let's grab, you know what, let's not do that. Let's grab both sides and then just scale it a little bit into that channel. Yeah, something like that, we'll go with that. 
Okay, so I've got my door. Um, the door is going to go. Whoo, 